Hello and welcome back to SF a Giant Recap and the Giants unfortunately lost to the Guardians 3-1 to today so that's what we're going to go over in today's video. Make sure to subscribe and like if you do end up enjoying but let's go over how the offense did. So the offense they didn't really show up that much. We only had 3 strikeouts which is really good to see but we also only had 6 hits with 1 run and we really struggled with people in scoring position. 0 for 8. That's the thing I pointed out all year. If you've watched the recaps, you know that I point out runners in scoring position every single game because it's the main reason of if we win or if we lose. And today, 0 for 8 with runners in scoring position, we missed out on so many opportunities that could have turned in to game-changing uh, scenarios and that excels our winning streak to five instead of now a losing streak of one that's a big difference in my opinion especially when I think three of the four teams in front of us lost today we had a perfect opportunity to gain a gain on a game on everyone and ex like propel ourselves forward but we threw it away just kind of like every other opportunity we we are gifted but Blake Sable, he had a monster home run. Good to see from Sable. He's been crushing the ball. He also had an almost amazing hit in the ninth. But Miles Straw, he robbed him. He actually robbed a couple hits today. But that was just kind of on the unfortunate side. Uh, for the defense, Wade had an error, which ended up turning out to be a very costly error because that error turned into a run and more. So that's the main reason we lost. We lost by two. And we had a two-run error right there. That cost us practically the game. The offense didn't show up, but if it's a 1-1 one, one game, we're going to extras and we have a chance. For the pitching, the pitching did solid. Shamanaya, he had a rough first inning, allowing a run. But other than that, he did great. He allowed three runs, though. Uh, two of them, I don't know if you can put on Shamanaya technically because Ryan Walker allowed the hit, which allowed two of them in, and Wade allowed for those base runners to get on, but to simplify everything, Shamanaya did good. He got five strikeouts. He's, he brings his ERA down to 4.8, so not a bad outing from him. Ryan Walker, like I said, he kind of struggled. He allowed two hits and the two runs to score. Scott Alexander, he pitched surprisingly well. He's kind of struggled, but today he came out and he pitched one and two-thirds clean innings, and then John Brebby, he pitched to the ninth, or yeah, the ninth, and got two strikeouts, so Good to see from Brebby and Alexander to start showing up and pitching well, but the Giants, they got to bounce back. They have to bounce back tomorrow, and that will kind of see how this team is. This team, if we're going to be doing good and if we're going to start showing up, we bounce back after a loss. If this team is going to continue to lose and be a disappointment, we're going to lay down and just hand it over. So that will do it for today's recap. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time for a new SF Giants recap video.